Polish general, Russians may have fired missile into Polish airspace to test NATO response. Poland will demand explanations from Moscow after a Russian missile violated the Polish airspace during the mass attack against Ukraine on the morning of March the 24th, the Polish Foreign Ministry said. Poland, a NATO member, scrambled fighter jets to protect its airspace as Russian forces launched another large-scale aerial attack on Ukraine. The Russian cruise missile entered Poland's airspace for 39 seconds, Jacek Siwira, chief of Poland's National Security Bureau, said on X. He also said the NATO allies had been briefed about yet another violation of the NATO border by a Russian cruise missile. The Polish Foreign Ministry spokesperson, Paweł Ronski, called on Russia to stop its terrorist air attacks on the people and territory of Ukraine to end the war and address the country's internal problems. According to a Polish general, Stanislaw Kozyej, Russia may have deliberately fired a missile into NATO member Poland's airspace in a weekend test of the country and alliance's defenses, he said. Such situations may be deliberately provoked by the enemy in order to test the Polish air defense system, Stanislaw Kozyej said in an interview with Polish press agency. You never know what a rocket like that can do, Kozyej said. All the more so because they are often dual-purpose missiles that can carry a nuclear charge, the former head of Poland's National Security Bureau added. Moreover, the Russians may want to use the border airspace while also violating the Polish border to attack Ukrainian objects with cruise missiles from the west where air defense is probably weaker, he said in an interview. The situation now requires very decisive actions. In my opinion, the only remedy to protect Polish airspace and Polish territory against this type of event is the establishment by NATO of an anti-missile defense zone extended in front of the Polish border over the territory of Ukraine, he added. Putin's awkward act showed his weakness. The Economist. After the ISIS terrorist attack in Moscow, which became a colossal failure of the Russian intelligence services and a slap in the face to Putin, the head of the Kremlin cowardly disappeared and reappeared almost a day later with a false statement in which he tried to ridiculously concoct blame for Ukraine. However, such behavior is traditional for the Russian president, writes the British magazine The Economist. Putin is a man who likes victories, preferably staged managed ones. It is noted that last year, when Yevgeny Prigozhin and his band of mercenaries made their way to Moscow, Putin was initially nowhere to be seen, the magazine writes. So if he took a full 19 hours to conjure up a short TV performance to speak about the massive intelligence failure at Crocus City Hall in Moscow, he was falling into a familiar pattern. The address itself gave little away and appeared to serve as a hedge. Putin claimed ludicrously that Ukraine had opened a border window to the terrorists as they tried to escape Russia in their white Renault symbol. But the Russian president stopped short of directly attributing responsibility to Ukraine for the attack and said nothing about the Islamic State group that said it had carried it out. Part of Putin's reluctance to go all in on blaming Ukraine might reflect a worry that the American government is sitting on intelligence that could undermine such a claim. Part might be embarrassment at his security agency's failure to act on American warnings on March the 7th of an imminent attack. Indeed, just three days before the assault, Putin had brushed off that intelligence as blackmail. Such a hubristic blunder would have consequences in a country where power can be held to account. Russia is not such a country. The attack nevertheless represents a blow to the reputation of Putin and the security services on which he depends. The manner of the assault, in which at least 137 people lost their lives, will not soon be forgotten. There are many questions over the inept security at the glitzy venue, which is in an entertainment park in Moscow's northwest suburbs. It is unclear why local police failed to respond quickly. A producer of a show held at Crocus City Hall 10 days before the attack noted that 200 security guards were present that night. Горит, горит, суки.